everyone. Welcome back to theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage, live from Caesars Palace. This is day two of our coverage of CrowdStrike Falcon 23. Lisa Martin, Dave Vellante. We have an alumni back with us. We saw him yesterday, you saw it too, because I know you were watching theCUBE.net. Daniel Bernard rejoins us, Chief Business Officer at CrowdStrike. Great to have you back, Daniel. Lisa, great to be here. How are you doing at the end of almost day two? Great. I think I'm even more excited on day two as we head into the final stretch of Falcon than I was at the beginning. So many great announcements, so much going on, so much feedback from the customers and partners. Talk to us about some of the feedback from, from the ecosystem, the customers and partners. A lot of double clicks today in, in Mike's keynote with the demos. Lots of stuff going on, financial analysts going on, investor relations. What's some of the feedback that you've heard? I think first thing thematically is customers are like, and partners, wow. CrowdStrike is pedal to the metal on innovation. CrowdStrike is changing cybersecurity. That's the first takeaway. Look at the number of announcements that we've put out. Marketplace, Falcon for IT, everyone's excited about Charlotte, Foundry, the acquisition of Bionic. The list goes on and on and on, and we, can, we could you know, spend a lot of time talking about each of these areas. But first and foremost, it's that the pace of innovation at CrowdStrike is unbelievable. Second, people love being around the ecosystem, look at this room, it's buzzing with activity. The ecosystem loves it, because guess who's here? A bunch of happy CrowdStrike customers. I had a CISO come up to me and tell me, this is like the Woodstock of cybersecurity. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bunch of people who are super passionate about what we do, how we do it, working with us, and that's just infectious. So you can't replicate that. Uh, we're, we're, we're blessed to have this ecosystem around CrowdStrike and really see what this event shows is that CrowdStrike is cybersecurity's ecosystem. And I think that's something that's really starting to come to the forefront at an event like this. So the drum roll, you know, I, I, was, I got up because I had to do the cube, I was leaving the room. I wanted to wait to hear who won Partner of the Year. And then of course, it was AWS. Not a shock, right? <laughs> so, okay, let's talk about that relationship. Sure. I mean, company's basically biggest partner, built on a big, chunk of the company built on AWS, yep. so it makes sense. But, you know, nice to, re to reward them, recognize them, and maybe yeah. even get some re reciprocal love. Well, <laughs> I think what's really special about our relationship with AWS, yes, CrowdStrike was conceived and built in AWS, so from day one we've been partners. Um, the go-to-market that we have with AWS through Marketplace is fantastic. And it's unlike, it's, it's unlike any other ISV. It's the envy of the industry. AWS sellers talk about CrowdStrike. They bring us into their cloud deals. How do you secure your cloud workloads that you're spinning up with AWS and AWS's services? You do it with CrowdStrike. Before, we, we even took that to endpoint as well, and so we have one of the largest businesses from an ISV perspective with AWS out of all of the vendors that they have because our go-to-market is so focused on driving better outcomes with AWS. To take it one step further, we've really, sh we've really shaped how software vendors and with AWS go to market, namely with the channel. So if you remember back to when the marketplace came out, it was this disruptive new way for enterprises to consume software. That was the supply chain. Well, here at CrowdStrike, there's a supply chain that involves our reseller partners that sit in between the marketplace and the end customer. And what we've worked a lot with AWS on is making sure that supply chain is intact, rewards the resellers for talking about and, and solutioning with us, and still rewards AWS. And so customers get what they want, our resellers get what they want, AWS Marketplace gets what they want, and today that's the definitive motion that everybody's using, and we pioneered that with them. But this partnership's alive, it's global. Um, they offer really exciting incentives to our customers and prospects for choosing CrowdStrike and using it on AWS. Yeah, big win, win, win. And I, and I think I'm correct in that, didn't AWS organize, reorganize, and put the marketplace and ISV organizations together? They have. And so that's like, gives it additional momentum. That's made so much sense to me. Yeah, the velocity is there, and the focus is there. You know, we have initiatives on driving cloud security. We have initiatives on some competitive takeouts. We have initiatives on um, helping customers do longer term deals and having that be part of broader AWS initiatives. So there's a lot of shared connective tissue and when you have customer, when, you, when, you're, when you're thinking about customer obsession and you have that shared vision, amazing things can happen. What, what are the criteria for that? I mean, do you do this 
I, I didn't see this last year. Did you do this last year? Well, this, this is a new award. Time. It's the first new time award. we've done Partner of the Year on the main stage. And I think it really exemplifies one of my pieces of coming to CrowdStrike around, we're putting partners at the center of what we do and that we need and we will and we are leveraging the power of the crowd to get to where the company is going. So uh, no better way to do it than celebrate the success we have with AWS. We also were awarded AWS's ISV Vendor of the Year uh, earlier and they, and they work with over 3,000 software ISV vendors. So this isn't just a security thing. Like out, you look at the pool of everyone they work with, we were selected as the one um, to, to get their award. I mean, you're talking about companies like Snowflake, right, who has extremely great relationship. I mean, it's kind of similar sort of love fest and many, many others. Um, do you have a rule like you can't win it twice in a row or? We'll have to see. You got to come back next year and let's okay, get on the show. Okay, we'll have a <laughs> No, we have, we have thousands of partners and so many of them do meaningful things and have built sizable businesses around CrowdStrike. So we got plenty of awards to give out. It's the hard part's choosing one. Right. What are some of your favorite partner stories that really you think exemplify just that and what partners are building around CrowdStrike? Sure, I'll give I'm you sure a couple. I'm sure you have a ton. Yeah, I, I, we could spend the next couple hours doing it. I mean, let's start with a partner like Dell, attaching CrowdStrike on the box, selling our subscription licensing, building services offerings around it, uh, also offering monthly consumption options for small and medium businesses. That's an end-to-end -end partnership globally that out of the gate is performing exceptionally well and helping us win new market share. Let's look at a partner in Malaysia. Let's go to Malaysia next. I sat with this partner three weeks ago. They came out of nowhere, they're a public company, and this partner, then you won't even recognize the name, this partner doesn't even sell endpoint. They're like, we don't even want to get in the endpoint market. We just want to sell your cloud security offering because we do cloud transformations. Lots of great work also going on with the Indian outsourcers, the GSIs, folks like TCS, folks like HCL, folks like Infosys. Lots of exciting things going on there as they take companies on technology transformation journeys. And then of course our VAR channel, whether it's Optive, whether it's GuidePoint, remains strong, resilient. Um, these partners you know, really focus on CrowdStrike. Worldwide Technologies is another great one. So the list goes on and on all around the world of companies that have built cybersecurity businesses on, through, around CrowdStrike. Speaking of the GSIs, I mean, I, I, I see, I mean, Deloitte is here, oh, but, Deloitte. but yeah. I mean, they're cleaning up, because you got, I don't know, 20, 2,000 plus customers here at the booth, they're just taking names. I was surprised, I mean, these guys mentioned TCS, HCL, Infosys, PwC, Accenture, IBM, Deloitte. I, I don't know, mm -hmm. Deloitte. I, I would expect they're going to start, they're going to get it. I saw this with the ServiceNow ecosystem. When it was like, you had companies like Cloud Sherpa, you know, and a couple others I can't even remember. And then all of a sudden the G, GSIs are like, whoa, there's, there's money here. There's food in that trough. <laughs> let's go. And I, that's going to happen here. You yeah, just feel it. Totally. And I mean, let's look at Deloitte as an example. They built a meaningful and sizable global practice around CrowdStrike. And mm -hmm. what's unique about them is they built a services offering called Managed XDR. They even built Managed XDR to, to bring XDR to life on our platform before our team had managed XDR. So they took the initiative there and they've sold it to Fortune 500 customers all around the world. They do cloud security transformations with us when they're doing cloud, when they're doing cloud projects. They're bringing CrowdStrike in to do the security parts of it. They're a huge partner with AWS, so we work together with AWS and Deloitte at the same time. There's a reason they have a big booth here. They have a big business here. Yeah, well, and, and to your earlier point about the importance of partners, it just, it drives sales productivity. You can't do it all alone. We've seen so many companies that have gone kind of kicking and screaming into the, the indirect channel, uh, but it's, it's the formula for today. I mean, AWS is, 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 is proving the power of the ecosystem, and a lot of the companies that were built on, on AWS, I mentioned, you guys have mentioned Snowflake before, are taking similar sort of playbooks and building ecosystems on top of that. So you, you're not even, an, to me, you're not even an IS, ISV anymore. There's platform. ISVs, you're a platform, and companies are building on top of your platform. Yeah, what's really special is the number of companies out here that are actually building on the Falcon platform. Yeah. What I mean by that is they're embedding our threat intelligence in their offerings, because they want the adversary expertise and knowledge that only yeah. CrowdStrike has. 
they're using log scale to replace legacy SIM products and having CrowdStrike be the back end of their business. Because this isn't just like a technology partnership. This is a big bet that they want to place on a strategic alignment with CrowdStrike. So that's kind of a whole new level of partnership that we're driving the outcome for the customers, but we're also driving a whole business around what we do with our partners. Well, you're foundational to those partners. Exactly. That's huge. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I, I think if you look at the market, there's a lot of companies, people are like, are they going to be here tomorrow? Are they going to be private? Are they going to, you know, are, are they going to be acquired by private equity? You know, you can't build a foundational. Who are you talking about? You can't yeah, yeah. build a foundational <laughs> backbone on something like that, you know? This is something where everyone that's here knows this is a company that's changed cybersecurity as we know it, and the innovation isn't stopping. You guys do a good job of that, you know, throw a little FUD into the marketplace, which, you, hey, why not? But the point being, you got momentum, you're not going anywhere, you, you, you're going to be an independent company for, you know, public Up and to the for right. a long time. What are the details on the Accelerate program? Yeah, what Accel is that all about? Accelerate, it really, it's the right time in our trajectory as we map chapter two, which is a heavily partner-focused chapter for the company and scaling the company to help our partners accelerate. So it's all about making sure we have the right education programs to un to, and the right activation programs to unlock into the fact that one, we have more products than ever before to sell. You saw the announcements just here at Falcon, but there's about 27 modules on the platform, so we need to create the opportunity and make it easy for partners to understand that opportunity. So a key part of Accelerate is one, the fact that we have more products, we need the right kind of enablement for that. So we have a program we put out called Crowd Class. If you've ever watched Masterclass, you know, yeah, there's yeah, some really good storytellers on yeah, there. Yeah. I really like consuming information that way, and I think like if you mm. go and look at some of the legacy vendors and how they train partners, you could, it, it, it's akin to watching paint dry on a wall because it's kind of boring. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to be, you know, I, it, it's got to be revamped yeah. for people that have an attention span that's shorter than 10 minutes. So what CrowdClass is, is it's experts at CrowdStrike sharing the passion, the expertise, and the knowledge they have about our domain with partners. Here's how and why they sell, here's how and, how and why we're different, and it's for two audiences. It's for the sales audience, it's also for the technical audience. So more products and the enablement of more products, that's one. Two, faster engagement. So everything we do with our ecosystem, the challenge that I gave to the team is make it, cut the time down by half. So from time that a partner says I have an opportunity to when our sales team's in there working with them, I want to cut down in half. A key part of cut it down in half is also let's amp up the rewards that we have. So we, we debuted CrowdCard. What CrowdCard is, it's a CrowdStrike brand. It's really cool, Dave. It's a really cool car branded black credit card that partner sales reps and sales engineers can use. And what CrowdCard is, it's our way of incentivizing the field organizations of all partner types to land with new logos and expand with the Falcon platform. And of course, you get a higher payout on cloud, identity, and log scale next gen right. sim. The last part of the Accelerate program is on helping us amplify and create demand for our partners. So tools like The Grid, which is self-service marketing portal, they can create their own campaigns without us, self-service. We have concierge marketing programs for, our, high, for our, our higher tier partners. We have live events all around the world happening all the time that are activation enablement focused. We also have live events that are customer and demand gen focused. So it's the whole go to market piece of how do we build a business together. So it's a novel, interesting, exciting program and it's all about one thing, going faster, accelerate. What a machine. I mean this Two, is- Two, three, and four. This, 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 music to the ecosystem's ears because you're making an investment and at the end of the day, it's, for them it's about, hey, how do, we, how do we make margin, drive revenue, drive growth? That's right, mm. and mm. keep customers protected from the breach. I mean, as long as we keep that at the forefront, which is what we do, we're going to build the right apparatus around that to make CrowdStrike the best company to do business with and build a business around. Because it's like the gift that keeps on giving. You land with some modules, you got plenty more to bring them and plenty more, plenty more to solution around it. And it's like pick your own journey on that you know, on that, on that journey. Well, and there's an interesting services opportunity with George's infinite loop that he put up. You know, the- Foundry. The foundry and the, the, the custom workflows that a lot of these companies can say, hey, you don't have the expertise, we can help. Totally, I mean, I think what Falcon shows, the announcement shows, and what the market success of what we're doing is like, there's moments, and you've seen it with so many companies. You guys track and monitor. Oh, yeah. You're part of the discussion with so many of technology's great companies over the last couple of decades. There's moments when they just accelerate and blossom and become something. And CrowdStrike's been on that kind of journey for the last number of years, creating the EDR category, changing how people do security, 
becoming the viable alternative to legacy AV. And we're at that moment now where we can go in the cloud, where we can displace the legacy SIM. Uh, so much innovation happening on the platform, and it, you know, all the signs are there for that moment and the blossoming, and that's what we're here as a team to execute on. You've seen it with the great software companies in our industry. I mean, think about ServiceNow, we talked about them before. You know, help desk, ITSM, and now it's just customer service management and you know, such a great expansion. Look at Salesforce, you know, started out as you know, CRM, all right, and now look at the company. Um, I mentioned Snowflake before, oh, data warehouse. Well, you know, look at it growing, you guys. Yeah, we start with you know, EDR, Endpoint, now 23 modules growing, 27 AI, now. 27 now. <laughs> Can't keep track, Daniel. But if you look <laughs> at it, Dave, it's like, okay, uh, Salesforce, no hardware, change the CRM industry, yeah. you know, change databases forever. Workday, did it for HR. Who is the software only vendor to do that for security? And I think that's you know, credit mm -hmm. to George, that's what he talks about, is like, he thought through in this cloud era, the companies that are transforming their spaces, and there was nobody for the cloud era of security, and that's what CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike brought security to the cloud, for the cloud era, AI native from the beginning, huge opportunity, and that's what we're building. So the speed of innovation is there. You talked about that in the beginning of our interview. We talked, you guys talked about speed the last couple of days with the, the great Formula One references, Lewis Hamilton. On brand. The Mercedes AMG between his car is here. What's next, where do you go from here? Up, up and to the right, obviously. But sure. with, the, with the flywheel going so fast. Yeah. What's I your mean, crystal ball We say? just launched Accelerate. We got to get all of our partners accelerated on the Accelerate program. And you know, these things have, uh, they, they, people need to chew it and digest it. Um, I mean, there's so much we can do. There's, we're investing aggressively internationally in new markets. We have, in our existing customer base, so many products to upsell and bring to our customers. We have new logos. Half the market is still on legacy AV. The list goes on and on. There's no shortage of what to do. It's just making sure we have the right kind of alignment as a company and with our partners around what are the goals. And the goals are, one, let's go win the market. There's still plenty of market, like I was saying, on legacy AV. Two, let's go back to our existing install base and make sure that they're consuming more and more and more of the platform. That's a great opportunity for everybody else. And three, let's make sure the pace of innovation continues. And it's not just innovation in the product, it's innovations in programs like Accelerate. Yeah. Yep. Keep that pedal to the metal. And if, as long as we do those things and stay focused on the customer, the future's very bright. Accelerate, perfect name. Daniel, thank you so much for coming back on. Coming on theCUBE twice at Falcon. My pleasure. Really giving us a great visibility into the state Congrats of the business. Congrats on a great show, too. I mean, Absolutely fantastic. We appreciate your time, your insights. Can't wait for next year. Pleasure to be here, thanks a lot. All right, our pleasure. For our guests and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching theCUBE live from Caesars Palace, day two of our coverage, CrowdStrike Falcon. Dave and I will be right back with our wrap of the show. Stick around. Mm -hmm.